Hey, 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 y'all. This is Tanetta, your, your certified life coach, your social worker. I'm here to, of course, bring you the day number three, the change challenge, um, the change, I guess, 30-day change challenge. Um, so like I said, I definitely want to bring you that this video this morning. Um, this morning is still talking about habits, but it's talking about and just having you think about what is that habit doing for you? I know the first day I talked about um, habits, habits, and more habits, why we have the habits, are, and ha the, the main gist of that video was how long it takes to, of course, create a habit. But when it comes to a day, and day number two was talking about um, um, the realization, to, um, I guess, identifying what your habits are, identifying the things that you want to change. But like I said, this video is all about what is that habit doing for you? Assuming that you've already figured out what the habit is you want to change and why it's important to you, that kind of thing. We And some people do, of course, struggle with this because I know I've struggled with this as well. I'm not saying just you, but me as well. I'm talking to myself too. But just know that every habit that we have, a habit is just a, a behavioral pattern. A pattern of behaviors that we do whenever we're triggered, good or bad, by something. Um, but like I said, definitely a habit always does something for us, whether it gives us joy, whether it gives us happiness, whether it gives us attention, whether it gives us, gives us love, sex, money, whatever it is, it gives us something, something, a good feeling. It could give us, um, and it, it could also give us a bad feeling. I guess I put it that way too. But like I said, a lot of times when we have habits that we have not broken yet, I guess I put it that way when it comes to, especially when it comes to mindset, the foul mouth or, um, the negativity, that kind of thing, like I said, usually it's doing something for us. And not just those, but all the habits are usually doing something for us. And like I said, the main thing from this particular video, video number three, I want you to think about what is that habit doing for you that you're wanting to break? Um, like I said, definitely, we all have habits that we all want to break and want to do something about. But if you're not intentionally trying to figure out what that habit is, figure out why it's important to you, figure out what the, what the, what it's doing for you, you're not going to be able to change your habit at all. It's going to keep going and keep going and keep going unless you start stacking other habits on top of it, then you can possibly change it that way as well. Um, like I said in video number one about the habits, it takes about two months to about eight months to, of course, create a solid habit with consistency and, of course, intentionality. But like I said, definitely, we have to figure out what that habit is doing for us. I, for, for instance, my cursing foul mouth sometimes, <laughs> I'll put it that way. For me, what it, it is not that it well, it does do something for me. I guess I put it that way. For me, it gives me a rush sometimes. I guess I put it that way. And if for for me, when I'm when I'm talking, saying a curse word, that kind of thing, I feel that the people listening um, are like shocked. Like, oh my god, I need to listen more to this. I, I I need to see this. I need to hear this. And oh my god, she shocked me. What's going on? That kind of thing. Like I said, that's what I feel that it does for me. But I know that on the flip end of that. But it also does for me. I'm um, on the bad side, I guess I put it that way. Um, from when I was growing up and teenager and that kind of thing, out on the streets or whatever, um, it wasn't a good thing, of course. Um, now I see it wasn't a good thing back then. But like I said, definitely the cursing uh, made me look really stupid and silly, I guess I put it, at least in my mind. Inside grocery stores, outside talking about this and doing all this kind of stuff, thinking this, oh my God, I'm trying to be bad and trying to be the powerful one and all this kind of stuff. My God, I just made myself look really silly, actually. But like I said, um, those are the ways that I see that the cursing, I guess I use that as, a, as an example, had done for me. But like I said, definitely just when we go through, I guess, go over these things and trying to figure out why we have these habits and what these habits are. And y'all, I'm actually baking, so give me one second. I got to take these cookies out the oven. <laughs> but like I said, trying to figure out what, um, what our habit does for us, it always does something for us. Got my cookies, y'all. <laughs> I'm baking, baking, baking. All right. But like I said, our habit definitely does something for us. Like I said, oh, Lord, let me stick this on in there. I got more going in. Okay. But like I said, our habit definitely always does something for us. Like I said, good or bad. Like I said, the habits, again, are just behavioral patterns, things that we do, of course, um, usually automatically once it gets to a certain point because of some kind of trigger, a good or bad trigger, I guess I put it that way. And like I said, definitely, we all have habits. I know I have habits. But like I said, in order for you to, of course, to start moving, um, to, I guess, in order to change your habit and start putting in some 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 different types of habits and that kind of thing that's going to push your life forward and more in the positive and that kind of thing, you have to identify what is that habit doing for you. How is it causing you to feel? It must be causing you to feel good most times. I mean, like I said, with the cursing and that kind of thing and the negativity and all this kind of stuff, like I said, it... 
must cause, well, for some people, it does cause you to feel good. For some, of course, bad. But like I said, there are some habits that cause you to feel, um, well, I mean, you do it because you're, of course, missing the attention, you're missing money or the sex or whatever it is. It's, 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 it's doing something for you, I guess I put it that way. And like I said, the main thing I would suggest, of course, because I know I journal, I got my journal, I guess I can go back in the front room, actually. So I just took out these um, these cookies, so I go back in the front room. But like I said, journaling, so I'm like, get my journal, actually. <laughs> journaling, this journal here, this is the journal that I'm writing out of right now. Let me move all these pillows down, y'all. Um, that th Those are the things, that's the thing that I use to, of course, help me to figure out what's going on, to help me process, to help me um, figure out what my patterns are, I guess I put it that way, and how I can best change those things. So I, like I said, I would definitely recommend if you have a journal, a notebook, or notepad, something, to start writing down the things that you want to change and the things that's, that, I guess, first, the things that you want to change <clears throat> about yourself, what like whatever kind of habit that you have. Like I said, whether it's the cursing, whether it's the negative thinking, whether it's the lack of patience. I know that's me too, like that lack of patience. Whether it's um, you're not able to listen to people and don't care what people say or you're trying to cut folks off all the time. Whatever that habit is that you're looking to change, like I said, this is a 30-day change challenge. We have to think about those things. You know, a lot of times we, of course, want to sit down and just, and just hurry up and do things. But, but when it comes to changing patterns in our lives and changing our habits in our lives, we actually have to take time to write these things down and figure out what's going on. Figure out what they are. My main thing is I always figure out where mine came from, I guess I put it that way. What's the root of that habit? Did it come out of me having fear of seeing my parents fight all the time or whether it came out of fear of, uh, I don't know, having a car accident or whatever it is. And those kind of fear, it, it came from somewhere. And most times it came from something in our childhood. And like I said, we definitely have to get back to trying to figure out where those things came from so we can easily kind of and better move ahead, y'all. Like I said, there's no sense of just writing things down and you're not even trying to figure out where these things came from or what the or, or what is doing for you. What kind of emotions is giving for you? What kind of happiness is bringing into your life? And it could be the opposite. But you have to figure out, like I said, where these things are coming from and what are they doing for you? Because obviously it's doing something for you. The same thing for me, because I have a habit of whatever it is I'm trying to change. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to change anything. You're going to say. I got a phone call coming in. Sorry about that. OK. But like I said, we definitely have to get into the mode, like I said, of journaling, writing those things down, trying to get this stuff out so we can get out of our head for one. But then so we can process and, and figure out why this is going on for two. That's the main thing when you're trying to change anything, y'all. So I'm going to get my butt off here. I just want to bring y'all this video this morning. Like I said, this is day number three. But this is the day number three where you need where you have to figure out where what is that habit doing for you? Like I said, that habit can do all kinds of things for you. It can bring you peace. It can bring you happiness. It can um, bring you all types of emotions. It can bring you all types of things, money, sex, drugs, whatever it is. But what is that habit doing for you? You want something in the end from that habit. You may not have thought about it like that, but I'm telling you to start thinking about it like that. Like I said, in order for you to intentionally change anything, you have to start thinking about what is that thing doing for you, even if it's a person that you're constantly having sex with or whatever the case may be. What is that person doing for you? What emotions is that person bringing out besides the orgasm? I'm not even talking about that. But in, in relationships, when you're having relationships as well, the attachment, th there's all types of things that that person could be doing for you. You have to get to the root of what that is for you in order for you to start changing either that relationship, or, for example, uh, that person or changing your boundaries, I put it that way. Those are all habits that we form as well. And like I said, you have to start looking at life that way. It's not just a habit of smoking or a habit of being negative or a habit of cursing or that kind of thing. We can have habits of everything, food. Some folks eat when they're depressed. It does something for them as well. But like I said, you have to look at your life like that. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get to the root and then figure out what is it doing for you. Like I said, this change challenge, you have to be very, very intentional. You can't just be willy-nilly all over the place and that kind of thing. Intentionality matters, and so does consistency. So with that, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get my butt off here. I want to thank um, Susan and Rebecca. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope that y'all are doing well, and I hope that you got something from this video this morning. Um, I am doing a 30-day change challenge. It's actually not 
it was just for me actually, but I know there are some people who are asking how, how can they join this kind of thing and it's nothing formal at this point, but I may have to make it something formal a little bit later on, not not today, but a little bit later on just to let you all know as well. But but like I said, I was trying to bring this into my life because I know I needed some some more changes to take place. I put it that way. Uh, so that's why I started. I just made this up one night and that's what I started doing on the first, actually. So so like I said, definitely I will make it more formal. But but like I said, I hope that you still learn something in this video. So like I said, with that, I want to say for those who, of course, tune in later on and catch the replay, greatly enjoy. And thank you, sis Abigail. I see your, I see the pictures coming up. Thank you for being on here as well. So take care, y'all, and have a great day. And I'll see y'all about the same time, possibly in the morning, between 7.30 and about 8. In the, well, 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning. I'll see y'all tomorrow, y'all. Take care.